So I get asked quite a lot how to pause cues or make a kill switch inside a stream bot. So as you can see, I'm live right now on Twitch. You can come and visit me on Twitch. People are trolling me. Oh, they're all going to do this and oh, it's all happening. I'm trying to record something and I don't want them to be able to use redeems. So in stream bot, we can do this by creating a new action. So we're just going to go to the actions tab and press add. And I'm going to create one called kill switch, just like so. And we're going to press Okay, we can leave it in the, the default queue and everything like that. Look what they're doing to me. I look a right mess. Yeah, come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy if you want to learn live and troll me like this. And on the kill switch, we need to create a trigger. So this can be a chat message. It could be anything. You Moderators can do it or you can have it on a stream deck hotkey or something like that. So I'm trying to avoid all these effects going Orange on. Juice, please. So I can right click and I'm going to use a test for this one. And under the sub actions at the bottom, I can go to core, go to action cues, and I'm gonna choose set action cue pause state. And I can select whatever cue I want to pause. So I actually wanna pause every single cue. So I'm gonna leave it on all, set it to pause and press okay. And now when I press test trigger or whatever redeem I've used, anybody, huh? Anybody that's trying to do stuff now, even though some things have already gone through, if I go to pending actions, you can see all these things are waiting. These ones might run, I'm not sure, but all the extra ones, look, people are trying to do all these different effects, they are all completely paused. So, once you've kind of finished whatever you want to do, look, people are saying hi, once you've finished what you want to do and you want to resume your cues, you could totally do that as well. So if we go back to the actions tab and I'm going to create another action called, and we'll call it a live switch because that's the opposite of kill. I've put a live kill, a live switch. And we need to make sure we t tick the box that says always run for this because this basically will mean if the queue is paused, it will still run it. So I'm going to tick that and press OK. And in here, we can set whatever trigger we want. I'm just going to do a test trigger again. Press OK. And then in the sub action menu, we go to core, action cues, set action cue pause state. And we're going to select all the cues again. You can choose individual ones if you want to. And we're going to press resume. Press OK. So my chat just brought it to my attention that I missed something. Um, so when you want to actually resume the queues, so if you're in your queue state and you've got the little resume there, you can actually clear it if you want to as well. So if you've got a bunch stacked up, maybe you had like, I don't know, a bunch of follow alerts from a follow bot or something like that, you can actually clear all of that queue at the same time. So if you right click, go down to core, um, this is in the sub actions menu, and go to action queues, you can clear action queue. And you can select the queue again, select all, press OK. Make sure that is before the resume section and that will actually remove every single thing from the queue and then resume the queue so it'll clear it from scratch. And look at that, somebody's trying to troll me but <laughs> the queues are paused, which this is a great way to demonstrate. If I go to action queue now, pending actions, you'll see there are three things waiting to be done. If I go back to actions and I'll test this, you'll see they've disappeared but the queue is back working again. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. If I press test trigger. Oh gosh. What have they just done to my stream, man? Why, why? And this is my stream now. So hopefully you've learned something there. With great power and at great effects comes Great responsibility. You don't want to be having bad times, do you? I don't know, understand what my streams happen now. I'm, I'm, I'm just, this, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Like, subscribe if you like this kind of content. All right, put your rug over the stone. Much love. I think we nailed that one, everybody.